Euh, on accueille d'abord M. Jong Jai Chun, qui nous vient de Corée. Euh, il vient de l'Université nationale coréenne du patrimoine culturel, euh, de l'école doctorale de la convergence du patrimoine naturel, un terme intéressant alors qu'on parle de convergence du patrimoine matériel et immatériel, donc ils ont pris tout en compte, et plus particulièrement du département de la conservation du patrimoine et de la restauration. Il a étudié la microbiologie et a obtenu un doctorat auprès de l'université Chung Hang avec une thèse intitulée « Identification of biocide active components isolated from Illicium verum hooker filius and Eugenia cariophilata Thunberg » C'était l'anis étoilé et la girofle pour parler en termes communs. Il était responsable d'une équipe de recherche au sein de l'Institut national de recherche du patrimoine culturel de Corée. Et ces domaines de recherche portent actuellement sur le contrôle de la biodétérioration qui affecte les matières organiques et la caractérisation des matières organiques. Il conduit de nombreuses recherches en relation avec ces domaines et aujourd'hui va nous parler de, euh, on a parlé ce matin euh, des tanins végétaux, il va nous parler de l'huile, de l'emploi de l'huile essentielle pour la conservation et le contrôle de la biodétérioration du patrimoine culturel. Please. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank the organization visiting me, uh, inviting me, sorry, and uh, especially Bertrand de la Vedry. I'm presenting here uh, the 15th anniversary CRCC. Uh, furthermore, I'm very glad to present uh, conservation cases using essential oils because I visited uh, CRCC about 10 years ago, 2003, for working with the malarinia liquid rain, yeah, right? Sorry. <laughs> uh, to investigate the efficiency of uh, essential oils for controlling pests in cultural properties. So I will present briefly. In Korea, summer season, including July and August, are very humid and mean temperature is above 26 centigrade. Nowadays, mean temperature of Korea Peninsula is rising caused by global warming, and it makes insect distribution is more wider and active period is more longer. In these conditions, many organic materials, something like wood, textile, a paper can be damaged by fungi and insect frequently. Few, uh, yeah. Biodeterioration process is like here. Uh, cellulose materials like paper and wood are damaged by silver fish or cigarette bitter and cellulose or protease. Uh, uh, enzyme uh, secreted by microorganisms make high molecular carbohydrate and protein is decomposed. In the case of stone cultural heritage, formation of biofilm can make physical, physical, chemical, biological damage to surface of stone. Typical species making biofilm is crustose and Korean stone heritage is damaged by a uh, cross also. Until recent, unfortunately, to control biological damage, chemical fumigation using methyl bromide and ethylene oxide is common treatment after 1990s in Korea. But these chemicals will private from 2015, uh, so we have to find an eco-friendly method for controlling pests. Chemical treatment has a good benefit uh, for, uh, uh, for contro uh, controlling uh, pests uh, in cultural properties. Fumigation using methyl bromide and ethylene oxide can all of organisms within treat space, but it does not remain and occur environmental problem. Repellent 
spraying treatment with chemical can stay for years, but it cannot integrate into inside of wood, especially wooden buildings in Korea and maybe in Asian country. To advance this chemical treatment, low oxygen and heat and irradiation treatment are researching around the world. But low oxygen and heat treatment need a lot of time to control, and it cannot control spore of fungi. In case of gamma radiation, uh, irradiation, researched a lot by Arc Nuclear in France, uh, it has an application limit in outdoor and portability. Overcome these problems of earlier environmental treatment, treatment using natural plant is one of the candidate uh, method. Natural plant in Asia have used as a spice in religious uh, ceremony and cook and medicine uh, from old times, especially in Korea. Uh, natural plants are used with incense pots to conserve many organic materials, especially books and textile uh, cultural properties. Biocidal essential oils uh, extracted from natural plants can more efficiently control uh, in, org in organic objects, including uh, wooden buildings. Uh, so I will report some conservation cases using natural plants in Korea. First, I tell you how to develop a natural biocide product, Bojon. Uh, Bojon is a brand name. Uh, the Korean meaning is conservation. I worked at National Research Institute of Cultural Heritage as a researcher uh, before moving to university, and I developed this product in 2002. Uh, in Buddhism, uh, when Buddhist statue is enshrined, uh, people put Buddhism scriptures and, uh, and, uh, and Buddha crystals and uh, natural plant within statue and so on. So uh, I thought uh, this plant function as not only religious meaning, but control insect and fungi can damage to organic materials. Among five plants, uh, star anise and clove, maybe you know, uh, they have used as a spice around the world can control fungi and insect, especially to evaluate antibacterial effect of volatile organic compound from plant. I extracted uh, VOCs from two plants using SDE. As a result of a fungi test, uh, like we can see in picture, growth of test fungi are inhibited. In this picture, paper disc inoculated medicine extract, extract attached not medium, but cap of patrides to see a fungicidal effect by just a volatile organic compound. I test the toxicity to termite, cigarette bitter, uh, that damage to wood and rice weevil used as test insect. As a result of the test, the extract of each medicine also showed insecticidal effect against, against three insects. In the case of fumigant toxicity, the extract of star anise showed 100% mortality against the termite cigarette bitter and uh, rice weevil at rates of 2.5 microliters, 50 microliters, 250 microliters per feet of paper, respectively. Uh, result of synergistic effect blending star anise and clove, the mixture of star anise and clove as the volume ratio 2 to 1 showed higher properties for antimicrobial and insecticidal effect than each volatile component. 
uh, Niagara was inhibited by the mixture very highly. So you can see uh, center the, oops, yeah, the uh, medium. When the volatile compound treated to four cubic ex exhibition case uh, after six hours, fungi population decreases over 90%. And after three to 90 cubic, a very large species, uh, after uh, for three days, you can see fungi, uh, fungi population decreases very highly. To evaluate effect of material stability, uh, we conduct tests with the fabric, traditional paper, a Korean paper, and metal, and pigment. As a result, door and uh, color and physical characteristic of material was not changed. So this result, uh, this research result and uh, patent were transferred to private corporate com company. So now Hankin Company is selling many types like fan, uh, gel type, and spray types, and these products are using in exhibition hall and storage space of museum. So now all type of bosom products are using about 30 national uh, private museums and the list of museums like uh, right side. Maybe you don't know. Yeah, okay. So, and uh, uh, the conclusion to is like this. So, especially characteristics of essential oils such as high volatility and durability is expected to applicate as a preservative conservation method in exhibition hall and uh, storage area. Now I want to uh, show another uh, case. Uh, from now I uh, to peel the test using essential oil to protect wooden big buildings. Chemical fumigation can control insect or fungi effectively, but it makes environmental problems. So to replace fumigation, eco-friendly methods have developed to such as heat treatment, low oxygen treatment, and others. I have already I told you it's a little bit uh, some problem because we, when we uh, apply this technique to big uh, places. So, and low oxygen treatment needs long treatment time and it cannot control specific fungi and cannot applicate to large volume also. So to advance these disadvantages, I apply low oxygen treatment with essential oils to large space, particularly wooden building. First, lab test is conducted put crude ex extract of star anise and club with an enclosed uh, this desiccator and concentration of oxygen is maintained with uh, below 0.1% of oxygen concentration. As a result of a laboratory tasks needed time to kill all of cigarette bitters was declined to half compared with using only just an oxygen treatment, and that's the rate of a termite and lice will be also become more efficient. Based on results of our laboratory test, conduct a field test using low oxygen treatment with the essential oil for wooden building. You can see a very nice, a, small, a little bit small building in some, uh, in, uh, Songgwang Sa Temple in Korea. Silk uh, Korean historical wooden building by same method when treated essential oil for fumigation with a fan to volatilize easily and spreading widely and inject nitrogen gas continually to maintain 0.1% uh, concentration of oxygen. Amount, uh, amount of essential is about 200 uh, milliliters in uh, 70 cubic uh, space. Uh, result of a field test, time to kill every test insect are 
declined to more half when compared to treat only low oxygen method. So uh, low oxygen method treatment as an alternative method of fumigation has disadvantages such as high treat cost, lost, long exposure time, limit of uh, object volume. To overcome these disadvantages, we test hybrid treatment that spraying essential oil and other uh, treatment. So it can be expected to applicate to outdoor wood wooden building uh, through antibacterial and the antifungal uh, test. So uh, finally, I will introduce my uh, recent study about removal of biofollum using essential oils occurred in surface of storm cultural uh, heritage. When considered characteristics of outdoor storm cultural heritage, it need cleaning sometimes. A physical cleaning method using water is a common method in Korea. Uh, but uh, we, sometimes we need chemical or laser cleaning is used depending on condition of a storm monument. It's uh, one of our ideas. Uh, I suppose this fungicide effect of uh, essential oil is able to remove biofollum on stone monument because lichen composed of fungi and algae, algae through a symbiote relationship. So therefore, when we can kill fungi using by essential oil, we can remove biofollum on stone monument. So first, sampled and uh, identified the fungi from biofollum attached to stone object in 15th century royal tomb of Joseon dynasty, designated as UNESCO's memory of the world, the world. And seven species of Ascomycetes fungi are identified. Oh, sorry. So antifungal activity test was conducted to seven fungi species with water-soluble extract and volatile extract. Among water-soluble extract of gallot, gal, gallot and barberry root show antifungal activity to some of test fungi. And among volatile extract, clove, show high antifungal activity to seven species. So in July uh, 2000, 2010, treated each extracted to surface of stone cultural heritage uh, which biofollum formed in surface with a uh, spray method, do not treat more. Uh, as a result of several years monitoring, biofollum have removed in, in treated area with uh, chemical and crude extract of essential oil and treated area uh, with the bojon. Yeah, maybe you can, can you remember bojon? Its meaning is conservation uh, in Korean as a bojon product that uh, is made of, of eugenol and anethyl. Uh, does not grow also. Moreover, uh, part of biofollum treated with star anise also removed this result let us know when essential oils just spray, just spray, don't brush, uh, just spray to biofollum, it, it can remove through rainfall naturally. So now I effect of essential oils are testing not only Korean stone cultural properties, also Pakse in Laos, I visited in Laos uh, uh, in, in the beginning of this year. Angkor Wat in Cambodia, two years ago, I treated this natural medicine to monument. And I, I just, I continually monitoring. And then uh, now France with Dr. Fasser, Fessa, oh, sorry, Fessa Busta in uh, LRMH. Uh, I think that biofollum removal again, an uh, agent using essential oils will develop through this field test. 
So removing a biofilm with essential oil have many advantages like cost reasonable, non-destructive, easy treat compared to existing cleaning method, and also it is expected to replace existing chemical biocide as eco-friendly method. So until now, I told you briefly about uh, treatment using essential oil conducted in Korea, but also including France together. Uh, by combining with essential oils and other technologies, it can be used as a more efficient and eco-friendly biocidal method. Thank you for your attention, and then I, I appreciate to my uh, PhD student and master student. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.